all right what's good y'all so i'm about to break down the sample on the screen right now just gonna go through each of the patterns show you the midi the processing and kind of explain my thought process so yeah let's get straight to it So yeah, it's like five patterns right here. I'm gonna go through each of them one by one. I start off with this uh, little bell melody right here. First, I'm gonna play you the MIDI without any effects, and then I'm gonna show you the processing after that. So it's just a two bar loop on repeat right here. Pretty simple. So if we just move these back to the beginning, shorten them so you can actually see it and pitch these two down. You can see that this is the minor chord. And with this note right here, it's the like half step in the minor chord, the sus2 note or whatever you want to call it. So after that, you know, make these go up. And then I strum this first chord, something like this. So that's the first part right there, but they're longer, something like this. After that, as I said, I was just playing it, so I just hit some random keys, but it's kind of the same rhythm down here. Same uh, fifth chord right here. It goes back to the C sharp minor, up to the G, G sharp minor, with some extra notes here. So after I had recorded it, I just kept the velocity, like how I played it. I might have pressed Alt X to just even it out a little bit you know but i kept it pretty much the same and i also didn't quantize it fully either so you can see some notes are stretched apart from each other so they don't hit at the same time as you can see right here but that's the first pattern so the effects i added to this was i start off with a sooth right here just to clean up some frequencies very subtle but it was some harsh frequencies so i just reduce them a little bit right here so if you don't have this plugin it's kind of like reverse from an eq so normally if i would boost these frequencies on an eq they would be louder in the soothe if i boost these frequencies so they like get reduced more they get they get slow after that i added an eq took out some highs some lows very subtle i don't think you can hear the difference after that i just went with a dial p turned down all these four knobs let's run with the amp quality and the needle quality i don't know this plugin just adds a little extra like crispiness to the high frequencies i feel like when i do this preset right here it kind of just distorts the high frequencies a little bit so after that i went to the s1 imager by waves and i just turned up this width thing right here so now the sample is in mono and finally i went with the h949 harmonizer and i went to this pitch knob pitch it down to 850 which should be like three semitones and now the final pattern sounds like this so yeah that's the first pattern i just kept this on repeat throughout the whole melody this next sound comes in here where the clap should be right and it sounds like this here's the midi so super simple pattern preset is super fire and the preset is from analog lab and it's a shanghai preset by loner and it's in the technicolor bank by loner and kill september so here's the pattern without any effects now if I go into the effects tab, I just copy paste it over the exact same effects chain over, but I changed the EQ and then I added a Valhalla reverb to it just to make it more spacey. After that, I just wanted to add more cool, cool stuff, you know, so I, I made this pattern right here. Preset is from Contact. It's from the Logi Bay Bank by Tele Teletone Audio and it's uh, this preset right here. So I'm gonna show you how it sounds without effects first. And the effects is really subtle, man. I just added a S1 imager and an EQ right here to clean out some of the highs and the lows. So again, just another simple pattern and I tried to find a pocket for it, which was right here at the end. And now finally, pretty much the same method again, but I did it at the downbeat right here. Sounds like this. Now this preset is also from Analog Lab, it's from it's by Eli Brown, so it's from one of the loophole banks, and it's the Get Into It Sully preset right here. And I just made two chords, uh, not even a chord, I just made a A sharp note in two different octaves, and without any effects it sounds like this. Then I added an EQ, it looks like this. I added a delay tape, slightly bumping, and I think I increased these so it's a faster type of delay and not so slow. After that I went to Portal start here bank right here the, the factory presets and i went with the partial divide preset so now it sounds like this
So basically this sample has a main melody, which is the bell melody, which was pretty full, as you can see on the MIDI right here. After that, it's just a bunch of like cool texture sounds or like mini counter melodies that kind of play well together. So I'm gonna just play the counter melodies now so you, so you kind of know what I mean. And the final thing I added was just this uh, perk loop right here. Uh, I just pitched it down to semitones, time stretch it obviously. And then in these spaces where it got too much, I just grabbed the slice tool and tried to slice it up a little bit. As you can see, I chopped it up right here, chopped it up right here, here and here. And now the arrangement, I didn't add any more sounds like I usually do. I usually go in here and add another pattern or something in the second part. I just deleted some sounds right here and deleted this sound right here. So after that, I just pitched it down two semitones with the sound shifter, the, the main, the, the whole sample, two semitones. And now it sounds like this. Alright, that's pretty much it for the video and if you enjoyed it leave a like and subscribe for future videos thank you for watching i appreciate it and yeah i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video have a beautiful rest of your day peace